all of us, everybody on this planet, has a fundamental right as a human being to be home, to remain together as a family, and especially children and youth uh, with their parents and their elders. so excited that uh, this zine is finally published. It's coming out at such an important moment in our history. And uh, this uh, zine is written by TPS recipients, such as yourself, Jose. Yeah. And um, it is so, so important right now to understand that if TPS is canceled, more than 400,000, 400,000, people um, will be at risk of deportation and that also will put uh, 300,000 plus children, many of them uh, U.S. born, U.S. citizen children at risk of being separated from their families, including your children, um, mm -hmm. you being separated from your children. Uh, and, and one of the, your children is right here. <laughs> yeah, that's Valentina. You will learn more about Valentina when you are reading the magazine. Because one of the things that actually we're doing in this is like, we are allowing people kind of like to learn what we do, you know, how is our life. And probably also um, you will find that people with TPS are just people like you. People that are looking to do the best they can, improve their life and prepare their kids for a, you know, for a better future and probably to even make this country a better country than the way it is because there are always ways to improve. So if you read it, you will find that information. If TPS is canceled, I will separate from my kids. Uh, the doctor told me uh, I could never have. If TPS is canceled, we will lose neighbors, friends, co-workers, very important members of our community. It is my birthday since I was three years old. I have this codependent relationship. She relies on me and most people like to, to singing in choirs and playing sports. I can't remember a weekend. If TPS is canceled for my parents, I would be separated from my family and not be able to live a normal teenage life. If TPS were to get canceled, my siblings would be taken away from me and go to El Salvador with my parents, who are TPS recipients, while I stay back here and continue on with my life but not having the support of my family. And if TPS were to be canceled, I'd have to throw my educational dreams away and work full time to help support my family. Our families are not temporary. Our lives are not temporary. Our families are not temporary. If you want to know more about uh, ways that you can become involved, help um, in with help TPS recipients, you can go to the Mass TPS website, and on it you will find this zine. You can watch it um, online. You can also very easily print it, a color version which I think is beautiful. There's also a black and white version which is also beautiful, and also on the uh, Mass TPS website is a um, 20-minute documentary uh, about a theater production called The Last Dream and many of the writers in here uh, who are TPS recipients, especially the youth, um, co-wrote and produced um, this uh, theater production about their situation and their fight to keep themselves with their parents. So I think our hope is that you will read it, you will enjoy while you're reading but also you will be able to understand more who are the TPS who is the TPS community, what we do, and probably also, and we hope, you will be motivated too.
take action. So, enjoy it.